I am a living cross. Long before the Roman Empire turned the cross into a symbol of crucifixion, the ancients honored this primal description of their own humanity, the living cross symbolized in cultures around the world. We can picture the first caveman with a piece of charcoal writing on the cave wall, the first symbol of his primal spirituality, drawing a horizontal line to represent his own humanity, and then drawing a vertical line, intersecting it, crossing through it, to represent the fact the mystery that he was shot full of cosmic life, animated by the great mystery of the cosmos in a way that he couldn't understand, but knew profoundly. Here is this primal symbol of us as a human being. The symbol is ancient, it is primal, it is Alpha, an alpha symbol, a beginning symbol, but it's also an omega symbol. It's our beginning and our destiny. It's a symbol of the eternal now, representing where we stand as a human being and the very most essential nature of who we are. We stand at the crossover between past and future. Right here at the crossover in the present moment. And we feel that great urge of our legacy, the urge of life itself evolving through time, blossoming through time, the urge to become, the urge to elevate, the urge to grow, the urge to manifest beauty and wonder, the very urge of life that's in all of creation. And we understand that we're here in the present moment at the crossover between that urge coming out of our past and the urge that we feel to move into our future. This is the great urge of life itself that's present throughout the cosmos through all creation, through all of nature, in our blood, in our body, in our bones, is this urge. It's the very urge of life. It is the primal urge of evolution, not according to some limited human scientific theory, but the very urge of life itself. 